All right, well, I'm back on the ranch for my wonderful stay at the Hick Katie house. Let me put the link in there. Listen, if you're a businessman or a rancher anywhere in the Austin area, uh, west of it, heading towards Houston, you need to you need to stay at this bed and breakfast. Uh, they have a real certified chef make breakfast. I mean, this is not uh, your run of the mill bed and breakfast. The rates are amazing. I, I'm not even going to tell you because they're less than I've paid for uh, Motel Eight. I'll tell you that. Uh, but uh, you're getting a lot for your money. Uh, but, uh, I'll put a link down in the bottom. We'll talk about it. The other thing is, uh, the reason why I like that, listen, it's, it's near round top, right? Uh, round top runs year round, uh, design, uh, salvage and design. Didn't make it all the way to round top, but, uh, this is what I picked up today. That's going to go above my, uh, kitchen sink. I paid $95 for that. Right. And I'll frame it out and I'll put it in there. These things, uh, I, I almost think they're marble. They are heavy as all get out. Um, but uh, they're bookends. Uh, right there, that wall will be a library on both sides with stairs going up. But it'll have the uh, librarian's ladder that goes back and forth on the uh, rails. So um, what am I saying? I'm saying that a little Katie house gives me a break from the heat and allows me to uh, get the uh, design, the salvage design wheels going, uh, which is a real good thing. But honestly, if you're a rancher or anybody, a businessman traveling, I don't know, stay at that bed and breakfast uh, because uh, <laughs> it's better than Austin rates with no traffic and good darn food. Uh, but let me go back to the thing. So, so there I'm refreshed and there the library is going to go that. Uh, listen, I'm not, I'm not buying a lot of this kind of stuff, but, um, you know, these, I think, were 50 bucks for the bookend. I almost think they're marble. Listen, uh, they're worth a lot more than that. Paid $65 for that manure rake. Listen, I don't use tools to hang on a wall. They're not an antique to me. That tool is to keep that old mule back in there cleaned up. <laughs> That's what that tool is. It's it's. But I looked online. Uh, the similar tool, not with a blacksmithy vibe, was two hundred and thirty dollars, brand new. Of course, I could get cheaper ones than that, but I could not get under a hundred dollars, no matter where I looked, even for crap. I paid sixty-five dollars for that, right there in Little Smithville. Uh, some other joys that I found. Look at that, a Bob Ross Chia Pet. Uh, don't judge me. And then you know I'm doing a Southwest Mission vibe, so. Uh, you know, I don't care if it's pewter or silver. Look, it's got a maker's mark in it. Son of a gun. Pewter. Hmm. With a maker's mark. But that gives a Spanish mission vibe. And then the uh, bucket itself, uh, I paid $9 for that. So <laughs> all these, I'm going to put all these treasures right in there until I need them. Uh, I'm going to wrap that one up uh, because that's going in the kitchen that will go in there. Uh, I'm working on this on suite in here, and that's what I needed the break for. And I booked out one day, one week a month all through August just so that I can regroup. This heat is something fierce. Let me rotate. Inside this, uh, which will be my en suite, I'm a third of the way drywalled with it. Uh, got some of the electric run. Let me open this up, start getting a breeze through this. But you see where how I use the uh, how I use the stained glass when I find them, right? I, I build a frame, straighten the uh, straighten the shipping container by sandwiching it between a laminate of wood, and then I stick in a uh, stained glass window, and then I light them so they're lighted at night at night so they look like night lights and they're on wireless so i could turn them on and off from inside so they're my night lights how cool is that right this is all from uh being able so see these moroccan doors they're over 100 years old got those at that round top so like i said if you you need to antique see this is wrought iron so if you're uh looking to do uh architectural salvage in your design Man, that bed and breakfast and then hit round top. A lot of round top is uh, twice a year they have the super um, uh, it, yard sale doesn't do it justice. It is 10 packed miles, a uh, quarter mile thick with uh, architectural salvage and like you've never seen. Twice a year they do that. But a lot of the uh, buildings there are open year round and you could pull in uh, the French tile that I have. I got there as well. Uh, again, all this I was leveraging that little case. Uh, there you go. These, uh, these I paid under three dollars a piece for those. You can't get junk for three dollars a piece. Hundred-year-old French tile. That's all going in there too. Once I get a foundation built on that. 
So listen, I know my little shippy container home looks, it's a little ugly duckling. I'm aware of that, all modeled up and everything. That's rust preservative. I'm going to paint it before I wrap it in earth bag just to harmonize it and get it going. Uh, but uh, that's Steve, A Thousand Years Homes. I just wanted to wrap up this little adventure I had with the uh, taking a break from the heat. And I've decided all August <laughs> I'm going to run from the heat. Uh, and y'all are welcome to join me if you're in the area at the Katie House and have an executive breakfast. Sit down with me. Talk a little while. If you're building architectural salvage Spanish mission, I'd love to hear from you. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.